to compare i7-6700 with i7-5930K. We also take i7-5820K in the Haswell E series because it seems to make more sense for uh, the money you pay for the uh, for the high end performance um, CPUs. So let, let's take a look at that. The i7-6700 is the latest Skylac processor and i7-5903K is a Haswell E processor launched a year ago. We have a both of them, uh, the, the, the Skylac i7-6700 is the quad-core processor while 5930K is a hex-core processor and hyper-threading is, uh, is enabled in both these processors which means that it gives, gets 50% more performance for this just because of the cores. We also have a higher clock frequency for the uh, Haswell E i7 5930K, uh, but slightly lower the max turbo clock frequency. Now, if you look at the i7 5820K that I mentioned earlier, it's slightly lower clock frequency in base and uh, and the turbo. The turbo is just a tad lower than the uh, its big brother. But the reason I want to show is that the price difference the 5820K is $200 cheaper than the 5930K and its clock frequency is just a little bit slower than this. So it means you get more um, bang for your bucks for 5820K. 6700K is also is cheaper than the 5820K but you will see as in pub benchmarks that uh, the performance wise 5820k is substantially more than 6700 and 5930k even though it's about 200 dollars more expensive its performance gain is not as much so before we go into looking at the benchmark score we also want to let you know that the one of the reasons 5930k is faster is because it it has more cache than the 6700 so let's take a look at that we have 6700 about 10000 and 5930k is 35% uh, at least 35% faster than the 6700k but the interesting thing is 5820k which is only slightly slower than 5930k but uh, it's substantially cheaper than the 5930K. And that's why we come to this table. Uh, a few more things that I wanted to mention is uh, Skylac has the advantage of uh, be consuming lower power. It's a 65 watt processor that uh, it's made possible by the 40 nanometer technology and the memory channel we have a wider memory channel in the Haswell E and its max transfer rate is about double that of the uh, Skylake i7-6700 the Skylake has the advantage of uh, an integrated graphics so you don't have to pay for uh, integrated graphics Haswell E will need a separate uh, graphics card uh, depending upon whether or not graphics is your main requirement you can add a cheaper graphics card ranging from 40 to 80 dollars or if you are into gaming you can add a much um, much more fast graphics card ranging from 400 dollars to 800 dollars i hope uh, this comparison helps you thanks for taking a look